Hey there, Sean Bailey. Welcome to this video today where I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily bring in more leads for your business with your free virtual assistant. I'm going to show you how to do it in five simple steps. So let's jump right into it. So my objective for this presentation is to show you how to build a list of buyer and seller leads without paying Zillow. How to set up a free virtual assistant that filters your leads and builds rapport. How to get more leads per month and more deals done, giving you more time freedom and the financial benefits that you got into this business for in the first place. And ultimately to show you how to use marketing automation to get buyers and sellers to engage with you. Now, before we go too far, I've got some extra goodness for you at the end of this presentation. If you want to learn about how to get an expert to help you set up your own messenger bot, I'll have details at the end of the presentation here today. Now, let's just cover a quick question here because you might be wondering, well, what the heck is a messenger bot? Think of a messenger bot as your own personal virtual assistant that works 24-7 for free, who treats your potential clients exactly how you want them to be treated, never needs a break, gives your customers the level of service they deserve, and shows the right message at the right time. Plus, it puts them in control. It lets people ask for your help if they're ready to take the next step. So let's take a look at our five-step process. First is we need to set up our messenger bot. Second, we need to set up the goals for our messenger bot. Three, we create our messages. Four, we create our messenger bot quickly. And five, we get people into your messenger bot. So let's take a look at what we need in order to accomplish this. Well, the only thing is that we really need our Facebook business page. And we need something like ManyChat. Now, we'll talk about some other alternatives inside here. But the great thing about this is that ManyChat is free to get started. And everything that I'm going to show you in this presentation today, you can do with a free account. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's take a look at the procedure and break down each one of these steps. So step one is to connect your Facebook business page to whatever chatbot platform that you're going to be using. Now, myself personally, I'm going to be showing you ManyChat. It's very easy to use, very flexible, and very powerful. ChatFuel has a little bit more features and is a little, a little bit more technical, uh, but you can accomplish everything that you want to initially off the bat here with ManyChat. That's my preferred one. Whatever you end up using is up to you, but the main thing is that you do implement this. So once you've chosen whichever chatbot platform you want to go with, then you just need to connect it to your Facebook business page. It only takes a few minutes, and it's actually really easy. Like I say, ManyChat to get started is free. Now that you've linked your page up, it's time to figure out what your bot is actually going to do for you. So you can have multiple bots associated with your business page, so don't worry about that right now. But right now, what we need to do is decide on the main objective for your first messenger bot. Now remember... Chatbots can pretty much do anything that you want. So let's keep it simple and straightforward. And here's some business related things that you're probably going to want your bot to do for you. So you just need to pick the one that's most suited to your needs right now so we can get started building this. Now, some examples of what would work really well in the real estate industry are building a list of qualified leads, right? We also want to warm up those leads and start building rapport with them. We can also pre-qualify new leads to make sure that they're going to be a good fit to work with you. Next, we can make sure that they're set up to be booking a call with you, and we can also have them on our list so that we can deliver weekly or daily newsletter updates to this list of people. You can always start off with a welcome message from your bot to your new subscribers that will lead them into different sequences and sales paths based on the options that they choose. And if you need help brainstorming creative ways to use chatbots for your specific business, just drop me a message and I'll be happy to talk to you about it. So step three, is that we want to craft our messaging. So now that we know and we've decided what we want our bot to do for us, it's time to figure out how to say it without coming off as salesy or pushy because nobody wants that, right? The beauty of bots is that you can give your customers the option to choose how they engage with you so they feel empowered and in control. Now, here's a couple of quick bot messaging tips. Now, it's going to depend on your goal, your specific business, but here's some general things to keep in mind when you're crafting your messages inside your messenger bot. Number one is that you want to inject some personality. Don't be boring. People signed up for your bot because they want to hear from you and engage with your business and brand. Bots are a newer thing these days, and especially on Facebook. People expect to let your true colors shine through. Don't think of this as like a basic email newsletter. Think of this as having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with people because that's how it kind of looks and feels to them. Now, tip number two is to use emojis. When you're on Facebook, people expect to run into emojis. And studies have shown that on Facebook, Facebook ads that use emojis usually perform better than those 
that don't. So my advice is to lightly sprinkle in some emojis so that people aren't just staring at a big block of text. You want to liven it up for them. Now step four is where we get into the meat of this here. So we want to create our chatbot and we want to do it quickly, right? Now a good idea, a way to look at this is if you used any type of email autoresponder, it's kind of like that. Right? If you think that bots are super complex or technical, they can do some really complex and cool things. But again, if you think it like an, like an email autoresponder, we can keep things basic and still get some pretty amazing results. Later on, you can get more advanced with different rules and tags and automations if you want. But because this is meant to be kind of a quick start video, we're gonna keep things kind of basic and fast. So the first thing that's gonna happen is that people are gonna get the welcome message. This is the first message they receive from your bot. And really, it should accomplish three core things. You wanna tell your new subscriber, thanks for signing up for your bot, thanks for requesting this guide, thanks for whatever, whatever action they took, you wanna thank them for that. Next is you wanna tell them what to do and what to expect next. And third, you wanna tell them how to unsubscribe. Inside of many chat, they just have to type the word stop and then they won't receive any more messages from your chatbot. But you want to make sure that you include that option, that they clearly understand how to stop getting messages for, from you uh, so that they don't feel like they're being spammed or anything like that. Now that you've got your message set up, it's time to add in some buttons and the next steps for people to take. Now, depending on what your goal is, what your business is about, these steps will vary, but you could do some uh, very basic things like showing pictures of your listings. You could also send a text message. You could have them book a call with you. You could have them book a spot on your calendar. You could get them to subscribe to your YouTube channel or your TikTok or whatever you've got. Or you could ask them some qualifying questions. And the great thing is, is you can add buttons and links to your messenger bot really easily without any type of coding or technical work like that. So let's take a look at a live demo. Let's jump over to a bot that I've got set up just so you can see this in action. Okay, so here's a messenger bot that I just set up recently and uh, this one is used for this video for demo purposes here. So we can configure this however we want here. We could have a quick image come up of a picture of you and your company and your brand. And we can send them, uh, again, our initial uh, welcome message here that gives them two options to click on. They could click on About Us and learn about our business, or they could click on our services and uh, engage with us even more. And again, we've got a button here that says unsubscribe, so they'll stop receiving messages from us. So if we click on to our services, Now it's gonna load up the options that they can take inside of here. So uh, we can offer people to buy property, sell property, or rent property, right? So let's say that this person decided that they wanted to rent. So they click on to rent property. And now the bot's going to send them some information about where they could possibly rent here. So we could look and see, do they want to rent a house? Do they want to res rent an apartment? And the great thing is, is that we can go through and we can also have, maybe we've got some special offers here, right? And with each one of these options here, they can scroll through and decide which one they want. They can view the houses that are for rent. They can visit the website um, where these are being listed at, uh, your particular website. We can click the, they click this button here and it will give them the ability to call you instantly and get a hold of you and start talking, right? Uh, we've also got the option down here for them to contact us. This could go to a form, a website, um, phone call, a calendar, however we wanted this to be set up here, right? So if we go and we say, uh, with houses here, we say view houses. And again, the bot is going to, you know, display whatever we want to have displayed here. So we can show these, um, these properties here that are for rent here, right? We've got the, the this one here in Carmel, this one here uh, on, uh, looks like Sedona here. Right, and then for each one of these, so we could say here, call an agent to talk to them about these properties here, or we could go with schedule an appointment so that we can go and take a look at this house at 128 here, right? So if we click schedule an appointment, And then here, the bot will ask them, please specify the desired date and time of the appointment. Provide your phone number so that we can reach out to you. Now, this information is going to be collected inside ManyChat, so we can go in and look at the people who've engaged here and find out all this information about them. Um, everything that they put in, everything that they type in will be recorded uh, for us to use um, when we're engaging and talking with our potential leads here. 
Now, the great thing is, is that this schedule appointment, we could have had this link over to um, if someone was using some type of calendar booking software like Calendly. Um, I know there's other options out there. I've only ever used Calendly. But we can, again, configure this bot to do whatever we want um, in order to engage with people. So we don't have to worry about going, you know, typing this stuff out on our phone. The bot is going to take care of all of this. And if people don't want to engage with it and they're just kind of like checking this bot out, then we don't have to worry about getting back to them and wasting our time. We're only going to deal with people who are qualified, with people who have engaged with our Messenger bot. So step five is that we want to uh, get people into our Messenger bot, get people engaging it with us. So the great thing is, is that we can essentially embed our Messenger bot onto, like, say, a landing page. We can use, there's landing pages inside ManyChat, but if you're using something like some type of landing page builder, like ClickFunnels or lead pages, you can embed your bot straight into a custom HTML block. And it's really as simple as you don't have to worry about working with code. All you have to do is really just find the code inside the setup tab inside ManyChat and then copy and paste it into your landing page builder. Now, the other tool that I'm going to show you here today is what's called the Messenger Ref URL, which is like a direct link to your bot. This is extremely cool because when somebody clicks on the link, they'll automatically be subscribed to your Messenger bot. Now you can go and embed this URL straight into your emails, your buttons, Facebook posts, blog posts, basically anywhere a URL could be embedded, you can put it and it will link back to your chatbot. And now you will start driving traffic to get people into your messenger bot. So let's take another look at a live demo here so I can show you this messenger ref URL tool uh, because it is really awesome and it works really, really well. Okay, here we are over in ManyChat and we can see this is what's called a workflow and it shows all the different, um, basically how you create your chatbot sequence in here, right? Now, I don't want you to get hung up on this and how complex this looks or anything like that, uh, but basically it allows us to set up what we want to happen once we've determined our goals and we can go in and create a chatbot sequence for this. But to get people into the sequence, to get them to go through and actually go through all of these parts here um, and take the options that they want, we need them to get into the bot and we do that here with this first step here that I'm gonna zoom in on and bring this over and right here where it says messenger ref url so the great thing is is that we can go inside here click on this messenger ref url and then that's it it just looks like a regular old link and all we have to do is just click copy url to clipboard and we can see it says copied now we go over to our landing page if we were going to embed it there Okay, so here we are inside of our landing page video, and let's say that um, inside our chatbot workflow, we we're going to send them a video that shows people how to get into their dream home three times faster, right? So watch the video now. All they have to do is click this button, and it will open up a little pop-up here, right? So the pop-up looks like this. It says almost there. Just click the button below, and I'll send the video to your Facebook Messenger. And here we can see the button. It says, yes, send me to the videos now. Uh, maybe it's one video, we could say video, but all we have to do is just click on the settings button here and we want to set the action for this to be, uh, we're going to go and actually paste in our code that we copied from ManyChat and then all we have to do is hit save and now we can preview this. So here we can see, watch the video now, we click on this, boom, yes, send me the videos now, it'll come in Facebook Messenger, so when I click on this, and there we go, it's asking me to log into Facebook right now. I'm actually gonna copy this over so that I can do this in a different browser. So I've copied the link from the button there and if I paste this in, and here we can see now it's over into Facebook Messenger and the chatbot has started. It says, hey, this is my bot, thanks for reaching out. I'd love to help you with your chatbot setup. So this is a different one that I set up, but here now we can start um, engaging with the chatbot. So we can click on sounds good. And then it'll start taking them to the next step here. Send them the content that we wanted, uh, do whatever we wanted uh, to happen inside our chatbot messenger. Um, we can start talking to them about uh, buying, selling, renting, whatever we want here. But it's as simple as just copying a link and attaching it to, like I say, any type of landing page builder, whether it's ClickFunnels, lead pages, any of the other ones there. Anywhere where you can embed a link, you can put it inside and start getting people into your chatbot. So that is the five steps to set up your own Facebook Messenger chatbot. 
and how to do it super fast so you can get up and running it as quickly as possible here. So I did promise you some extra goodness. If you want to learn more about getting an expert to set up your own messenger bot so you can get this going even faster and not have to worry about doing any of the setup yourself, just go to certifiedmarketinglabs.com forward slash bot video and I'll give you some information about how to get access to me and my team to help you out with this. Thanks for watching this video here. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.